you could have no low voltage power to the contactor telling the unit to turn on, or maybe one of these components in this outdoor unit is bad. Now, as we're pointing at these wires and components, we do have our disconnect in the off position, uh, but we could have a bad capacitor out here. So we may have one uh, that is a mushroom top like this, which means that it is bad. It's no longer functioning. We could be leaking fluid from it like this. You could have one that has, say, a bad weld up at the top uh, that could be burnt apart. The other thing is you may have a burnt uh, connection like this that is just melted apart. Maybe the wire feeding the capacitor is not connected tightly and is bad. This helps the outdoor fan and the compressor to turn on and to run. And I have a whole nother video on testing the capacitors down in the description section below, but this capacitor right here may look fine and it may test bad. And so uh, that could be the issue. We could have a bad contactor right here. So we could have something like uh, burnt contacts right here, maybe due to high current or just that the contactor is bad. We could have something like this where we have a burnt coil like that and you could have where the contacts maybe got water down in them and that has ruined the the contactor and that would have to get replaced uh, with the correct va and so if you have a single pole contactor like this one right here you'd replace it with a the same va 24 volt a contactor like this and so you can install a new capacitor that has the same voltage ratings or higher than the compressor or the fan motor but you must install the exact mfd readings that the fan motor and the compressor are calling for